Writing successful news releases. Hi, I'm Bill Carmody. Today I wanna to talk to you about writing successful news releases. I love the inverted pyramid. It tells us everything we need to know. The first thing is at the very top of your news release, what is the most important information? The who, the what, the when, the where, the why, and the how. These six points need to be right up front, the very top of your news release. And then more details, additional details that support the most important information. That's the next level down. After you've talked about the who, what, when, where, why, and how, then you're going into the additional important information or details that are the reader will need, but will not be lost without them. And then the conclusion or summary. The information is nice to have, but it's not critical. Today, we wanna to write in the style of a journalist's final article so that you can use what you've shared directly. See, here's the thing. Journalists are busy themselves. If you've essentially written the story that they would wanna use, they will edit it. You can trust that they'll take what they want and leave what they don't. But by writing the story the way a journalist would write a story, the press release is more likely to be picked up and used. So think about your audience. Who are you writing this story for? Think about how the journalist is writing for their audience. In which publications will this appear? And really craft that message, ideally individually to each publication that you want to be in. Rather than sending one PR generic press release to everybody, think about defining your audience and your most critical audience, customize the story, acknowledge what they're writing about, give them the full story that they would want to use in their publication, and you're more likely to have it picked up.